Here's how to use Final Cut Pro to create shallow depth of field in your GoPro videos, just like this shot that you're looking at right now that's being filmed on the GoPro Hero 10. Now turn on your GoPro and make sure that it's set to either 4K or 5K resolution at 30 frames per second. Change the field of view from wide to linear. Turn off the video stabilization. Set the bit rate to high. And then this next part is optional, but personally, I like to manually set the shutter speed, white balance, and ISO so that the exposure will stay completely consistent and not fluctuate throughout the video. Connect the GoPro to a tripod and make sure that you're filming in a location where there's nothing moving in the background. And now you can go ahead and start filming your video. This technique can be used for different applications, but it's gonna work best for talking headshots like what I'm doing right now. Then when you're done filming your video, make sure you get up and walk out of frame and let your camera continue recording for another five seconds. This is gonna be important later on in the edit. Now you can open this video in Final Cut Pro, go to the effects browser, search for scene removal mask, drag that onto the video clip and make sure that the effect reference is set to last frame. This is going to erase the background in your video and it should now look like this. Scrub through the footage until you get to the very end where you walk out of frame and hit Command B to cut the video at that point. Select this clip that's left on the end and turn off the scene removal mask or just delete it altogether from this clip. Now go to the effects panel again and apply the Gaussian blur to this clip. You can use the slider here to adjust the intensity of the blur and for this scene, I'm gonna set it to 25%. Now move this clip underneath the first clip so that it becomes the new background for your video and hit command R to retime the shot and stretch it out until it's the same length as the video on top. And that's all there is to it. Here's before and here's after. If you like this tutorial, make sure to check out the rest of my channel. You can go watch some more of my videos right over here.